Right, we are back on the Webastos and the third party boards and auxiliary boards, replacement boards. And we have a, uh, an Orbasto board. That's an Orbasto. Firstly, I would very much like to thank Harold, who, who originally contacted me and said he was going to build a board and if he was going to build one for me if I wanted one and I could try it and test it and uh, go along. So thank you, Harold. And I still apologise for breaking the first board, but hopefully it's repaired now. Second person, I'd like to thank Graham, who very kindly uh, volunteered to solder us up all the bits onto these boards so that we can have one for a play. Now, let me take the camera off a tripod so we can look at it a bit better in its uh, current state. All right, I'm going to use the magics of uh, editing. No, I'm not. I'm just going to turn my camera on its side to have a look at the board. So this is the board that would fit in your uh, Thermotop CEZ heater. It replaces one of these boards. This is the board it would replace that you'd buy this thing from a scrapyard, get it home, buy all the plugs and wires, and then connect pin one and nothing happens because it isn't programmed with a trigger. So your next option is you go and buy another kind of board or make your own like this one. So, uh, so the Abasto project uh, is shared freely online. You can go and download all of the files you need to build this board and all of the instructions. But my plan is hopefully to put it in some sort of order that it will make sense and in English so that you can build your own. So basically you've got the brain box chip here. This is a, a pick chip. Uh, so that one's an op amp. That's a, a Bluetooth adapter. That, that's where you communicate with the heater with, well, one of the ways of communicating, sorry, or making it do things. Uh, there is a trigger wire, but I'm not using it now, I'm using the Bluetooth controller. And everything else is like, there's just a connection to the fuel pump and glow plugs and the fan. And I've just got, it's supposed to have an output to control a water pump, but I've just got the water pump wired up directly just to save doing that. It also has an output for turning the interior fan on and off in your car. Now, here is where my problem begins. And hopefully, you lovely people will be able to help with this. Now, the first board that Harold sent me, I brought it out here to try before I was, because like, I brought it out Monday night, I was going to do the video on a Tuesday morning. Brought it out, plugged it all up, fired it up, ran fucking flawlessly. Not a problem. Lovely, great, turned it off the night. When Went back in the house, came out the next day to do the actual filming. Turned it on, nothing. I say nothing. It didn't not, well, it didn't do nothing. It didn't light. What it did was like turn the glow plug on and off and kind of half pulse the fan inside the heater like a whew, whew, whew. And so I thought I, I've obviously killed it. And well, I eventually did kill the board when testing, but I had, I murdered that board. Now, strange enough, I brought out the brand new board that Graham had just soldered up, plugged it all in, and it did exactly the same thing. It makes the fan in the heater go whoosh, whoosh, at the same time as it pulses the glow plug on and off. So what I can do to show it running is I have connected the fan in the heater to the power supply and I can just turn up turn the fan speed on and off, or up and down, and it will light and run. So it looks like either, well, can my heater have developed a fault if it works happily off the power supply, or is the something on the board not robust enough to supply the voltage that we need to the glow plug and kick my fan over to start as well? Because what I think it's doing is browning out the power supply on the, the board and the chip just keeps resetting every time. So I will show you it in operation, hopefully. I just move the camera over there a bit. Let me see if I can make this make sense to anybody. So, uh, board there, heater there, variable power supply up there that I will twiddle the voltage on. And over on the laptop is the Bluetooth software, the Urbasto software that's currently communicating with the heater, and as you'll see, and I'll zoom in a bit for you just now, the heater is currently 
mode zero stop. The temperature will be wrong because obviously the board's not sitting in the heater, so it won't have any idea what is happening to the board. But I say it runs. As soon as I press start, it'll kick off and it'll start heating the glow plugs up and then it'll turn the fuel on and then we'll turn the fan up. Uh, who's zoomed out, can I be? Oh, is there anything to actually see apart from smoke and me turning the thing? Right, I'm going to press start on the laptop. Pressing start. I press start. I'm now going to twiddle the voltage a little bit. I can hear the glow plug. Right. I've got the fan spinning slowly. Uh, right, there's the fuel pump on. So it's starting now. Wait, I'm going to bring a microphone in so you can hear it. So, fuel pump, fan running. It just let, I can hear it. The thundering noise in the background. So I'm going to slowly bring up the, the voltage of the um, power supply. And on the laptop, you can see there it's showing ignition. I'm going to lock you on the laptop, that'll make sense. I'm going to slowly turn up the fan speed on the uh, power supply. Ah, shit, I better put the fuse back in the water pump and get it spinning. Go! Okay, water pump is on now. So, like, if we go through this and go to, like, plug, it shows plug's okay, plug monitor okay, it knows all that's fine. Turn the fan up a little bit more. Because it uses the glow plug to detect if the heater's lit or not and not the temperature sensor. The temperature sensor is just there for the water temperature so it knows when to turn the water on and off. I'm going to keep turning the fan speed up. I can feel it's hot. Right, there we go. It's the, the fuel pump's kicked over and it's fast burn now. So I'm going to turn the turn up, turn up the fan speed up. Oh, it's getting hot now. Hopefully, you can hear this on the microphone. Hopefully. So I think the plug should go to still plug monitor is off because it's just assuming it's lit now. Turbine, it thinks it's on. Heat, heat, heater mode to burning one, so it's quite happily running just now. And as far as it's concerned, there's no errors. So we are running. We have hot water powering through the system. Let me spin you around, not a lot seeing that screen. So, there we go, running five volts in the fan, one and a bit amps. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. And, well, there it is. The heater is heatering. Yeah, but let's see. Not running off the board, it's running off the power supply, the fan. It can't seem to be able to power the, the fan and all the other bits at the same time. So I don't know if it's my heater. I don't know if it's something on the board that could be made better to do the thing. Oh, let's press stop now. Stop! And then it stops, and hopefully it should get a nice puff of smoke once it flames out. Hopefully. Don't make me a liar. Oof, there it goes. And then the heater goes into blowing mode to cool down because it thinks it's hot. Well, it knows it's hot. Because I think the plug goes back to yeah, the monitor comes on, because it's probably drawing 10 amps just now to, uh, you know, burn the excess fuel off the glow plug. But I'm going to let that run for five minutes, and then I'll come back and we'll talk to you. Okay, let's have a little talk. Here is the board. Here are all the bits. Let's see, that's the Bluetooth controller that you use to communicate with it, and you can turn it on off. This one here is the trigger wire, so even if you don't have Bluetooth, you can you just give us a positive, not that one, that's the fuel pump, David. 
that one is a trigger wire. That's a trigger wire. You just give that 12 volt positive and it fires up and goes through all its thing. You just need the Bluetooth when you want to set settings like how hot you want the water to get, how long you want it to run on, and if you need to tweak the parameters for the glow plug, because if you've got an older glow plug, you need to adjust the settings so it knows it's got a lower or higher resistance, I forget which, but basically it needs a little bit of tweaking to let it know that the glow plug's there and when it's lit. That is the output to uh, the fuel, not the fuel, the fan, the Kinsman F, uh, the fan and the heater output to the glow plugs in here, and that's just your main positive and negative 12 volt feed. And that's the one's the positive uh, pulse out to the fuel pump. But yeah, that, this is the board, and there's some MOSFETs on the back, and some teeny, teeny, tiny microscopic resistors in there as well. I'm going to share all these plans and the things, because the problem might be my heater, to be fair. So, I need help with this one again, boys and girls. Why does my heater brown out? Like, Harold says his board's running for like months at a time with no problems and it runs away quite happily and heats up. So what makes mine brown out when it tries to run the glow plug and the fan at the same time? Now, I don't know, I can't remember, actually, I can't remember how many components I managed to get together to see how many boards that Graham could hopefully have sold it up into like full pieces because I'm quite happy to send these out to people for further testing and see what your results are with your heater. I mean my next stage is to compare the current draw from that fan motor in that heater with the other fan motor that came off at the first time because this one's a little bit black and crispy but if they both pull the same amount of current, then either they're both fucked or it's something else in this board that I'm missing that, that, that I need more power or a bit, some way of making the power supply to the chip more stable. I don't know. Uh, this is, electronics is not my forte, hence I needed help with the uh, board building and the design and other things. So if you have any comments or suggestions on that, please, please leave them in the comments down below because the more information we share, the easier this gets to be for all of us and we can hopefully build replacement boards for our Robasto um, CEZ heaters because we all know that it's nice getting them cheap off eBay but not when you have to spend, you know, like the same again on getting another board to get them running. Because even, oh, like, these boards from China, I mean, like you're, you can get five boards, like, shipped for, like, a tenner. That's just the boards, mind you. And then your, you know, basic components, like your resistors and all that. But the most expensive parts when I was building it was that uh, op amp uh, chip there and that pick chip. I think those were the two most expensive bits and that, the thermal, thermal couple, that was... Then either they're, like, fucking rare as... I don't know, fuck, unicorns, but they're, they're expensive by themselves. Everyone else, much or muchness, but those three bits, they were a hell of a price. And, well, these Bluetooth things are anywhere between like three and ten pounds anyway, so that's not a, ah, uh, you don't really need it. But you can build them relatively cheaply. Ideally, what we need is just a drop-in replacement board. That would be much better. Or even not, well, drop-in. I don't mind having bits of wires if it's going to be somewhere, but a full drop-in replacement board would be nice. Anyway, comments, suggestions, tips, questions, offerings of help and science would be most, most appreciated. Please leave them in the comments down below and hopefully we can get, in, you know, in future episodes of this, uh, we'll get a fully working board and heater all together and we'll be able to do things and that'll be really nice. Anyway, as always folks, thanks for watching.